four of the NFL on EA Sports. Two and one team set to square off, and we're underway here in NFL Week Four. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. So the Titans set to go to work for the first time. And at quarterback from the University of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. And he's been playing at an elite level here in this early half of the season. Tops in the league in touchdown passes at this point. This is definitely a wide-open offense, and we'll see if he can keep his string of good games going right here. Herbert to throw right away. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Second down, Herbert. Catch for him today, and it'll wind up the first down. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. The numbers for him from a week ago. 24 carries, 106 yardage-wise, and the score as well. And the way they ran the ball in last week's game has to be satisfying to their entire staff because they're seeing not just a back gain big yardage, but they're seeing an offensive line really in sync. And he'll get three down of the 34-yard line. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. They'll keep it on the ground. House. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Vrabel says, let's get three out of this. He sends on the field goal unit.
as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Try and start this drive in the air. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. First down, he'll drop to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. These are his numbers from last week's contest. And you figure that he'll probably be a big factor in this one as well. No question about it, partner. We just saw right there, they want to get him the ball in space and see what he can do after the catch. A first down carry for Smith. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And the Cowboys at 2-1 and one now to start the campaign. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victory, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. But they've been fighting and scratching and clawing for that first sack in the game, and it turns out to be a big one. Not just a short one right there behind the line. First one they get, 10-plus yards on the guy who has the legs to escape most of these. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And now what he was hoping for there is this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. They'll keep it on the ground. House, and he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. gain there on the play, but that all gets wiped out with a penalty. Well, that's a setback, but all the good play callers, they just move on. They find something else in the playbook. They can attack this defense, and they go right back on the offensive on this play. A uh, good effort to spin free from that first wave, but they still hit him behind the line of scrimmage. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Second and long, Herbert. 
And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. He seemed to have a reasonable amount of time in the pocket, but he couldn't get rid of the football, and the end result, Charles, him on the ground. Yeah, he's got to keep an internal clock to go along with his offensive line. When you're talking about three, four, five seconds, that's a reasonable amount of time to expect to deliver the ball downfield. So great to try and complete a pass, but it's equally important to know when to throw the football away, too. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got White here. And he'll be just shy of the 20 at the 19 as he goes out of bounds. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. That's taken on the 25. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Second and six. He's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Calling a loss of five, a big sack to bring up third down. That partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive backs. They covered everything, nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? Got an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. They'll look to throw. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Yeah, that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So here are the Titans to take over on offense. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Nice footwork at the 25. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Second quarter, two minutes remain, 3 nothing. our score. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he'll be brought down at the 27. down now. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now it's Herbert. That's complete to White. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 17-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. That's complete right around the eight. 
And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Here's Herbert. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Chambers. To the air again, Herbert. Throwing middle, and it's complete. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And this is caught at the eight. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they're able to double their lead just before half. It's 6-0. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Cowboy offense is going to head out now late in this first half. A slim deficit here in a one possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Back to throw again. Throw left side complete. That's Smith. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. So a couple of field goals. That's all we've been able to muster through two quarters of play. 6-0 is our count at the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as we say goodbye to September and take a look around the NFL here on this first day of October. We'll begin up at legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay, where it was the defending champs, the Eagles, who got the win on the road. The Eagles get back to 500 at 2-2 two and two with the victory. From there, let's head to the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, to check in on the Broncos. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Raiders. The Broncos looking to sew that one up, and they look to be in pretty good shape. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting Jacksonville Jaguars. Chris Oladokun leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Gotten and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because 
those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They go back to the ground with Smith. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Smith running wide side. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. He'll drop to throw. The hitter here is complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. They'll run on first down. Sellers. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for them. Show them that you're supposed to get the football. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Staying on the ground, this time it's Smith. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. The last run got six, now second and four. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. They'll try to run for it with Smith. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Forthcoming a field goal try for the Cowboys. This from 25 yards out. And this one is right through. And they are on the board, trailing now at 6 to 3. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You just need your defense now. It's okay. We got 50 there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. Out come the Titans now. They'll have it first on offense to start the third. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 
51 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Even from up here in the booth, the play-by-play -play guy could tell that there was some pretty good blocking on the right side of the line. Well, you have good eyes, and it's almost like a ballet when it's executed that well. Everyone in the right spot, everyone in sync, everyone hitting the perfect notes. A little more percussion and a lot more yeah. bass, I would think, than you get your normal ballet. But at the same time, that was well executed. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Room here to run. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. good the completion there for seven yards and it'll be second down one thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch but in this situation the defense was effective able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going and the titans are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three yard line They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. Justin Herbert. It'll go as nearly a loss of 10 on first and goal. So a disaster there. It goes as a nine-yard loss on the sack. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Now a handoff up the middle. House. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. He'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes a defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes him susceptible to play action passes as well. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. They'll keep it on the ground. House. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. get the three but you wonder now is that going to be enough excellent question because when i look at the smiles on that side of the field they're a little tight aren't they if they had scored a touchdown there those would be big half moon grins right now because they feel a lot better about their position on a touchdown in the other direction all of a sudden they're down the cowboys are about set to take over on offense their defense has done the job now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And not much happening there. He's taken down, but a late penalty flag in the backfield. This looks like a roughing call. 
But Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And a hard work and run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And that is incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now, his second and ten. Inside handoff, Smith. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten the yard down to the 16. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Smith catches left side. Touchdown! A great play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from taking the lead here in the fourth. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. Just a four-play drive that time, and it's capped off for the Cowboys' touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. So now the Titans down 10 to 9. Two minutes, 30 seconds to play. And they need about 35 yards to get in range for a winner as they come up on first down. On first down, Justin Herbert. Going to throw right side here, complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Now a dump off here complete. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. And the comeback may stall out. It's intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. And so much for the game-winning two-minute drive. I think that interception return there pretty much seals the deal. And one thing to keep in mind, in this situation with the score that close, Defense isn't backing off and just giving you easy throws. They're playing aggressively as well, and they end up picking that one off and sealing the deal for themselves. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And with that, the lead is up to eight. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So now the story changes. Trailing in this one now. And time, a huge factor. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Herbert going to throw. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. 
So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Herbert to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Chambers. And past the 40. He's out of bounds. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Well, they got exactly what they wanted there. Out route catch. Get out of bounds. Stop the clock. And I have to criticize defense here because you know the situation. You want to keep them inbounds and have the clock run. So I'm sitting on the outside portion of the field and not letting them throw an out route. Throw anything inside and I'll make the tackle. An out route? That, that's not the way you're supposed to play it. Throwing Herbert. He's got his man. It's White. And he has a big gain inside the 30 before being dropped. First down, Hooks, and not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Herbert, looking deep downfield. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So the defense helping him out a little bit here late in the fourth. Yeah, and you're exactly right. And when you're the one doing the chasing, you'll take a little help from the other guys, won't you? Now Herbert. And this will be caught. Touchdown. So in the final minute here, now Two-point conversion will tie the game. The touchdown's massive, but now they've got to have two to possibly take this to overtime. So a big two-point conversion attempt forthcoming for the Titans. Herbert now to throw. That's caught. And he's not going to get there. The defense able to come up with a big stop. And they're going to hold on to their two-point lead. And the failure to convert and tie the game. Now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was the right call to try and tie the game there. Kick an extra point. You're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did. So still a small chance here with a little over 30 seconds to go, but they're definitely going to need this one to bounce their way. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it they do actually recover the ball which is what we saw here i just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number kind of like when the coaches tell us well when you score on special teams 93 percent of the time you win the game i'm still waiting to see that number is empirical and he can only manage to get a couple second and eight coming up the titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game on second down Sellers and that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26 yard line now a second timeout called for by the defense that'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play and they'll indeed take a knee now the defense will burn their third and final timeout and as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines we take a break And they take a knee. And with that kneel down at the end of the game, partner, 
they now get to three and one. This is a good football team we saw in this game. It is indeed getting to two games above 500, and I know early on, while they said they wanted to win every game, they thought they would be solid with a three and one start, and here they are. Yeah, you break your schedule up almost into quarters. Every four games in assess, three and one, any team would take that. That was an excellent come from behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small. They obviously did not give up on that one. And in the end, how about that come from behind victory? They'll cherish this one for a while. They're on a nice.